What's up, people? Welcome back. Well, this is by request from uh, Steven. What's up, Steven? Netrunner, a brand new release from the Netrunner team, the non-standard version, if you will. This is a rolling release, uh, which is based off of, uh, let's see, Manjaro Linux, which in turn, of course, is based off of Arch Linux. Now, if you are new to the world of Linux, uh, and, and, and if you're going to try this, and if you want to try this in a virtual box, it seems to be quite stable. That's why I'm running this inside a VBox. Go ahead. But if you're going to keep this, you need to read the documentation. This is not the same as their, uh, as the Netrunner standard releases of the KDE desktop, which is normally every six months, or LTS releases every two years. So definitely read this if you are new to the world of Linux. If you don't want to read this or don't like this for some reason, you could download the standard version of the Netrunner KDE desktop that is more newbie friendly. All right, ignore, ignore the very top and the very bottom panel bar. That is my virtual box. However, the standard, and I hear thunder. Ooh, I hope my machine doesn't shut off. Anyway, I like to change my uh, standard desktop look, if you will, uh, at least moving the panel from the bottom to the top. Right click, go to screen edge, move that. And that's how you can move the panel from the bottom to the top. All right, if we look at the panel here from right to left, widgets, Notification settings, of course, time and date, system tray options, and wired internet. I don't have wireless with this one. This is the standard KDE mixer, sound mixer. This is okay, but as a content creator, this standard function app is useless because it does not have a volume meter to adjust my microphone. So I'd have to download another piece of software if I was going to keep this. But for you, it may not matter. Clipper, previously used applications and a nice drop-down terminal all right moving along uh, I do want to show you one more thing here I wanted to add a couple widgets I'm going to right click okay add widgets let's go ahead and add the clock here for now and I also want to add a launcher and I prefer this one over the standard launcher and I'll show you here in a moment Okay, of course, uh, Firefox is installed by default. The Dolphin Manager, very user-friendly uh, file manager. Again, if you are coming from Windows XP or from Windows, this should be self-explanatory. You can change the icon sizes, as you see here. Very easy. All right, the three shortcuts here. On the desktop, if you um, go to Computer, this will give you information, specs about your computer and disk information. Again, very user-friendly. This has the default home run launcher. This is okay. I prefer the other launcher if I was going to keep this, or you can keep both launchers, I suppose. But real brief here, search function here, recent applications, games. I won't go through all of this. Graphics, GIMP is installed by default. Very nice. Internet, of course, Firefox, and uh, Thunderbird, Mail I use, multimedia. Uh, Clementine, a very good music player, and I use VLC should be the standard media player for all Linux, in my opinion. Office, of course, the LibreOffice Suite settings system here. Now, this is by default does not have a mm, software manager as you would see in, say, Linux Mint or Ubuntu. To add and remove and update software, you would go to add and remove software. Now, this is not quite as user friendly as the Ubuntu based Linux distribution. It's not difficult. Once again, if you read the documentation, you will see how this works. But starting off fresh, I would not say this is going to be quite that easy. Um, let's go to the uh, system monitor and see what we have here. KDE desktops gen generally resource intensive. If you're going to try this, make sure you have at least two gigs of RAM to run this comfortably. All right, as I stated, this is the home run launcher. It's okay, but I, I tried ty typing a couple of things here like trash music. It didn't pop up. It's not critical, but, you know, if there is going to be a search bar, then I want to search everything, but that didn't work. However, uh, this widget I added here, I prefer this one over the home run launcher. This is more the standard launcher, strictly my opinion. A nice uh, function here at the bottom, the search bar. And if I type in music, this will give me various audio shortcuts. Uh, something that is not available in the standard home run launcher. Again, you can keep both if you want. It won't. It will not hurt the system at all. The one thing about this KDE is extremely customizable. And I'll show you one more cool feature. If I go right click and um, yeah, desktop settings, you can change your default desktop. 
So for example, I go here to layout. I've always liked the search and launch feature for KDE. And there you go. This has an immediate search bar in the middle. Again, type in music. And this will give you applications related to music. If you want to go back to the default desktop, right click, configure search and launch. And I believe it was Netrunner desktop, apply, okay. And there you go, you're back to square one if this is the way you want it. So in conclusion, I've always liked the look and feel of Netrunner based off KDE. This is brand new from the Netrunner team. It appears quite stable. Now I haven't tested every single piece of software, or all the updates, but so far, at least in the VBox, it's quite stable and quite zippy, actually. Make sure, again, you have a fairly modern machine for something like this and probably two gigs of RAM to run this comfortably. And of course, please read the documentation if you are new to this. Steven, thank you for the suggestion. This looks quite nice. Thank you for watching and listening. If you have, have not subscribed, please do if you can. A small donation to the channel would be very, very helpful. I'll have all the links below in the show notes. Thank you for watching and listening. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.